Hey there, fellow Pixel 9 users. Let's talk about something you probably don't think about much, your data. Yeah, that boring stuff about websites and apps collecting your info. Turns out, it's kind of a big deal. Think about it. Your phone knows where you go, what you buy, even who you talk to. That's a lot of power, right? And it's not just Google. Apps, websites, everyone wants a piece of your digital you. Now before you flush your phone down the toilet, let's break it down. Understanding how your data is used is the first step to feeling less creepy about it, or at least, that's what my therapist tells me. So, why should you care about your data? Well, it's about control. It's about knowing what information you're putting out there and feeling comfortable with it. Plus, no one wants their phone to be smarter than them, right? Okay, let's talk about Google. They collect a ton of data, we all know that. But here's the thing. It's not all bad. In fact, some of it actually makes your Pixel 9 work better. Think about it. Google uses your data to personalize your experience. They learn what you like, what you search for, and even where you go. This helps them show you more relevant ads, sure, but it also improves things like search results, recommendations, and even battery life. But it's not just about convenience. Google also uses your data to keep you safe. They analyze your activity to detect fraud, prevent spam, and even warn you about security threats. And let's not forget about the future. Google uses your data for research and development, which means they can keep making your Pixel 9 even more awesome. They're working on things like artificial intelligence and machine learning, all of which rely on data to improve. So yeah, Google collects a lot of your data, but they're not just some evil corporation hoarding it all for themselves, they're actually using it to make your life easier, safer, and hopefully a little bit better. All right, time to get specific. What kind of data does your Pixel 9 actually collect? Well, buckle up because it's a pretty long list. First up, there's device information. This includes things like your phone's model, operating system, and unique identifiers. It also includes stuff like your IP address and network information, basically anything that identifies your phone and how it connects to the internet. Next, there's app usage data, Google tracks which apps you use, how often you use them, and how long you use them for. They also collect information about the websites you visit within those apps. Then there's location data. Your Pixel 9 is constantly tracking your location, even when you're not using it. This data can be used to provide you with location-based services like maps and navigation, but it can also be used to target you with ads. And finally, there's voice and text data. If you use Google Assistant or other Google services that involve voice or text input, Google is collecting and storing that data. They use it to improve things like voice recognition and language processing. So yeah, your Pixel 9 collects a lot of information about you, but hey, at least you know what it is now, right? Section 4. Taking Charge – How to Manage Your Data Like a Boss Okay, so we've established that your Pixel 9 collects a ton of data, but the good news is, you're not completely powerless. There are actually a bunch of things you can do to manage your data and protect your privacy. First up, let's talk about privacy settings. Your Pixel 9 comes with a whole bunch of settings that let you control what data is collected and how it's used. You can turn off location tracking, limit ad personalization, and even delete your Google search history. Next, there's the option to delete your data. Google lets you delete all sorts of data that they've collected about you including your browsing history, location history, and even your voice recordings. You can do this all at once or you can go through and delete specific items. And then there's clearing your browsing data. This is a good habit to get into, even if you're not too worried about privacy. Clearing your browsing data regularly can help to speed up your phone and free up storage space. These are just a few basic steps you can take to manage your data on your Pixel 9. It might seem like a hassle, but trust me, it's worth it. Section 5. Privacy Power Moves Beyond the Basics Alright, so you've mastered the basics of data management, but if you really want to level up your privacy game, there are a few more things you can do. First up, let's talk about app permissions. Every time you download an app, it asks for permission to access certain features on your phone like your camera, microphone, and location. Be mindful of what permissions you're granting and don't be afraid to say no if you don't feel comfortable. Next, there's incognito mode. When you browse in incognito mode, your browser doesn't save your browsing history, cookies, or site data. This is a great way to keep your browsing activity private, especially if you're using a shared device. And finally, stay informed about privacy policies. Yeah, I know privacy policies are about as much fun as a root canal, 
but they're actually really important because they tell you exactly how a company is collecting and using your data. Section six, stay informed, stay in control. So there you have it, folks. Your Pixel 9 collects a lot of data, but there are things you can do to manage it and protect your privacy. By understanding how your data is being used and taking steps to control it, you can enjoy all the benefits of a smartphone without feeling like you're selling your soul to the tech giants. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about how your data is being collected and used, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions about your privacy and hey, if all else fails, you can always just go live in the woods and communicate via carrier pigeon. No data collection there.